Thank you very much. Today, we're going to talk about the Christ in Spain. Yeah, we're going to talk about the Christ in Africa. Yeah, Russia. Yeah, Russia. And I want to talk about the president of Russia. Yeah, Putin. Yeah, Putin. Putin. Listen to me. I have a very important message to you. The message is... And the president of China... Oh, I didn't finish Russia. Thank you to correct me, first lady. Yeah, thank you very much. God bless you. And God bless... Thank you all. Hallelujah. Clap to your president. Clap to your president right now. That was a Saudi Arabia television show there, mocking President Biden and his VP Kamala Harris in a comedy skit. The Saturday Night Live style skit was featured in the show Studio 22, which is broadcasted on NBC, which is actually owned by the Saudi government. The big takeaway from the skit is how much Joe Biden's cognitive ability was mocked. In the comedy sketch, fake Kamala Harris is tasked with keeping Joe Biden awake as he makes his presidential address. She has to walk him to the podium, correct him when he confuses Russia with China and Africa, and remind him that she isn't the first lady, she's the vice president. Joe Biden's mental fitness has been the centre of debate as the president has made numerous gaffes since taking office. Some Republicans have even called for the president to sit a cognitive test to prove he is sound of mind. Former White House physician Ronnie Jackson, who is now a Texas congressman, has led those calls, constantly tweeting that he must take an exam the same way Donald Trump was asked to in 2018. A few days ago, he tweeted, The majority of Americans think Biden needs to have a cognitive exam. Why hasn't he gotten one? It's because he'd fail. The White House is trying to cover up Biden's cognitive decline, and they're doing a terrible job at it. The comedy skit was a welcomed laugh for some social media users who believe the president should be copying more skits like this from SNL. One person wrote, Saudi comedy show takes up the slack left by SNL failing to do their job. Another said, fantastic, very hilarious, we need more of this. Celebrities in the US made regular fun of Donald Trump. Suddenly, all of them have gone quiet on Biden. And this is what SNL would have done before they became woke. They used to mock both parties equally. What happened?